up everybody it's day two here in LA and I'm in my cousin's apartment and I'm going to the gym since it's the best way to start your morning it's currently like 8 a.m. right now and yeah hydration is really important once again and right now I don't actually know where I'm going dude his roommate gave me this key and he told me that it's from for it's sort of like elevator elevator and stuff like that which i don't know how to use this in the elevator that's weird you know, and i'm in the elevator right now and Instead of going up, I'm going down for some reason. Hey there. Good morning. Good morning. Where's the number? Oh. GoPro. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. See ya. Have a good day. So yeah, that was that was so random. Talk to this guy, and he asked me about this GoPro. Well, I get that a lot, actually. Finally made it here to the roof deck, and it's it's so bright in here. Anyways, the view is so beautiful. I'm I can see if there's like a better view I can see. Well. It's a little bit foggy outside now. I mean, it's still foggy out in LA. And here's the jam. And this does not work for this one. Yup. I have to go back and ask him because this key does not work at all. I, I don't think I don't think neither of the key works for the gym. The gym's not locked in it shouldn't be it's always unlocked. It's locked, but right locked now. now, yeah, it says like pull and like try pulling it. I tried using this key too. Oh uh, yeah, that key wouldn't work. Yeah. Um, you know what? You could try. Usually, it's, it's supposed to be unlocked. I don't know why it's locked right now. Maybe. I could run it out and check it again, yeah. and we'll see. It's supposed to be unlocked. <laughs> Maybe I was just not pulling hard enough. <laughs> Cousin's roommate just told me that it's unlocked all the time, and which I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was. It was. I tried pulling earlier. It was locked. Hey, morning. How's it going? That's so simple. I didn't know it was that simple to get in here. Well, yeah, it's not, it's not much of a fancy gym, but it's gonna work. Get a view real quick. That was a really, really good 30 minute, 20, 20 to 30 minute workout. Since all he had was like machines and stuff like that, which I was really, I'm, I'm used to like free weights and stuff. 
but it's all good. I mean, as long as you did something today, right? Never skip exercise day. I mean, never skip your workout. The workout is really important. Exercise is really important for your body. Anyways, yeah, I'm at the roof deck right now. And it's really foggy in LA right now. I mean, you couldn't see the Hollywood sign right now, which is really, I think it's useful for them to have like foggy days all the time. It's actually really hot too. I mean, it's sunny. I mean, it's the LA weather, I guess, if that's what he called it. It's really nice. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what we're doing today. I mean, I think we'll, stroll, well, we'll, we'll be strolling around LA looking for something. And uh, yeah, let's see what this day has to offer. So what is up? And here I'm back in the streets of Koreatown. Anyways, it looks really cool actually. And this place exactly reminds me of the Philippines. I mean, it is like the Philippines. Definitely, if you guys have been to Makati City and Manila or Manila, this is definitely like the Philippines. Uh, yeah, it looks really. It's, well, I'm just trying around. My cousin just like recommended me a ton of places to eat and. Yeah, I'm looking for one right now. It's like uh, a Korean restaurant. I don't know how to read it. It's called Kuishimbo Restaurant, whatever you pronounce it. People might think I'm Korean too, but I'm not. Actually, this place really looks sweet. Just walking around. LA though, it's, it's like I've been walking for like five minutes and I'm already starting to sweat. I mean, I sweat all the time, but Yeah, so this guy is a photographer and he's cool. I follow him on follow him on Instagram. It's at the art point. The link will be in the description below. So that's cool. All right, I'll see you, dude. Peace out. So I think I found a place. Yeah, I think this is the one. Really? From what I have heard, I heard this place is good. I, I heard that this place is like a Japanese restaurant that serves a lot of good food and a big serving. So I'm gonna see it for myself. So I'm all set right now and I ordered the Yakiniku chicken. From what I've heard, they serve big. I mean, they have big servings here, so I'm really hungry. And and we'll see. I finally got my food and they met my expectations. They have big servings and I can't wait to devour this. So I'm gonna see you after I eat this. So just got done eating and that was a good meal. One bad thing about it though, I splattered some teriyaki sauce on my shirt, which is really bad. I hate that when it happens. Anyways, I really don't know where to go right now, to be honest. I think I should go back to the apartment and just chill for a little bit. I might do a little research on like where to go later and stuff like that.
That was good teamwork, guys. <laughs> Did you guys ever have that feeling like after helping somebody, it just feels really, really good? The one good thing about it, though, it all started with one person. One person started helping that dude, and like it's a, the other one came, and the other one came too, which is really cool. That's we should do more of that in your community right now. Helping one another is really nice. It has a good feeling after. Destinations and stuff like that because yeah, I am a tourist. I'm an immigrant. <laughs> and an immigrant. Illegal though. Not illegal. And yeah, look at this big rock. I actually have seen like a vine about this place. It's like so it's like a funny vine. But she like she was like, oh my boy, and that was really funny. I'm trying I'm gonna find that vine. I'm gonna I'm gonna show it here if I could, if I could, if I find it. I'm not walking under that. Only rock you could find me under is Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Excuse me, little boy. Oh my, what's wrong with you? Oh my boy, I be sad too. You nasty. Oh my boy. Girl, come see this. They got a ramen noodle exhibit. You know that's your favorite. Be careful, children. That's a lot of sodium. Hey, ooh, party time. What we gotta do to light this bitch the fuck up? Y'all let me know. Was that a selfie stick? Mm mm. That looks fake. Ain't nobody gonna read any of them books. Ooh, uh-uh, girl, somebody put this in my Honda. All the ramen noodles, y'all. Shout out to all college people out there. Ramen noodles for free here. It's just like, fuck. I gotta go to high school, because I was obviously in high school. Okay. So I was like, fuck, what's the closest school? Fairfax is right here, so I literally snuck into the school. Oh my. And then they caught me, because they were like, you don't go here. I was like, uh, no, I don't. This guy is crazy. He has been through a lot of things <laughs> in life. Well, I guess it runs in the family. And it runs in the blood. Say, yeah. It runs in the blood. <laughs> oh my. Entitled Puente Vegas. That's true. <laughs> Celebrity's blood. <laughs> the, the, the ro royal, royal blood. blood. <laughs> we all got that royal blood. I don't know. <laughs> We all surely do act like it, that's for sure. Yeah, I agree to that. <laughs> we do whatever we want, that's the problem. Oh yeah, that's actually true. <laughs> we always think, we, it's like, we always think like, like when you're in the Philippines, it's like we own everything, basically. Right. <laughs> and then... <laughs> or we're famous, it's kind of like, we always think that our family is so famous and stuff like that. <laughs> But you know it's funny, a lot of people actually do know our family. Oh yeah, it does. yeah, definitely. A lot of Filipinos know our family here. Oh yeah, really? I'll say like, oh, they'll be like, what's your last name? I'm like, Puente Velia. And they're like, Puente Velia from, like, Visayan. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. So yeah, let's just see them. This is Mixwap Productions. 